So I am play Willa Givens, who is Raylan Givens' daughter. Just want to <laughs> stop you before you said anything you'll regret. <laughs> When we find this Raylan, he's now seven, eight years older, and he has a daughter who he has a couple years before she's gone, before she's emancipated, and so he has a last chance with her. What if we drove back by way of Memphis, stop at every steak and shake along the way, visit the rendezvous, and go see Graceland? Graceland. Elvis's house. I know it's Elvis's house. So what can you tell me about your character? Well, she's very feisty, straightforward, insightful, and soulful. And beautiful, not to mention. <laughs> she lights up that screen. Oh, does she? <laughs> really? When we started realizing that we we're going to do this show, he's going to have a kid. I don't know if I said it or my wife said it. One of us said, you know, Vivian could do that. And we're like, right? She's always thought about acting. I remember he told me that they were doing the casting for Willa. And I was joking that I would do it, but I was actually serious because I did audition. Tim said, you know, I, I normally wouldn't do this, but you should see Vivian, my daughter, for this part. But she read and she auditioned and she's interesting. There's a kind of gawky quirkiness to her and also this kind of self-assured quality to her. Teenage girls are complicated. A lot of the legwork had been done. She's her father's daughter in real life. Certainly that aspect was gonna play out on the screen. But you just put me off to might as well be a prison. Website made it look quite pleasant. They won't let you leave. And they take your phone. Sounds like heaven. Mm-hmm. You won't last an hour without your phone. It wasn't just a novelty piece of casting. We liked her. What was the first day like? First day was pretty good. I got nervous because you show up right at rehearsal. So you had been here on the set getting ready and then I just showed up the last second? Yeah. Doesn't seem like... Professional. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking I was thinking more it was bad reflection of my parenting. Was it, You thought it was a Both. bad reflection? Both. Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, Willa. What's hard? Your life. You do whatever you want. You're my life. But am I? Like, am I even in it? I didn't even hear you say that. How do you think it feels to ask? Raylan is such a powerful figure, and he is battling a bunch of people who are scary and also have a lot of power, but my character, Willa, is the only one who actually can get really under his skin. It's kind of like how it is on set, and I feel like I'm able to kind of say the things that nobody else can say. If you wanted me here, you would find a way to keep me safe. It was amazing how quickly it became normal, that she was so clearly comfortable. She always told me when to back off and not give her any notes, which is, and I was like, I know you're my kid, but you can't, professionally, you can't talk to me that way. <laughs> I do respect him as an actor, but sometimes he'll give me notes and as his daughter, it can be annoying. I don't know, he doubts me sometimes, but. <laughs> now, he keeps saying now. What's the deal, Dad? You got plenty you want to tell me or are you making this up as you go? Well, look, what do you want from me? I'd like to eat, not a Coke, not a package of nuts out of a machine. Breakfast with my dad. What was it like working with me? Working with you, honestly, fantastic. I felt like, uh, I, and I'm on record as saying this before, with you, <laughs> when you weren't here, I feel like we're lucky to have you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, young lady, you're on your own now. Good luck. Okay, bye.